let's find out if you've got what it takes to be the biggest loser. Knee strikes. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, turn to one side, raise your arms, and as you lower them, strike upwards with your knee. Then do the same on the other side. Keep your knee and arm movements nice and controlled. Try not to move your hips too far forwards as you strike. Try to reach the same speed as the trainer to perfect the exercise, burn major calories, and earn maximum points. A little quicker. Great work. Exhaling with each knee will help you keep that energy up. Bring that knee right up as high as you can. Arm swings. Move your arms around in big circles in a nice, controlled way. Don't throw your arms around too much. Try to do controlled movements and you won't put stress on your joints. Breathe nice and normally for me. All right, now squat down as normal, but this time twist to one side as you stretch your arms up above your shoulders. Then do the same for the other side and keep it flowing. Remember to keep those abs pulled in tight. As with other squats, try to keep your weight back in your heels, not onto your knees and toes. How are you doing? Reach a little higher for me. Really try to get those squats lower. Starting to really feel a good stretch up through your back and legs. I know it's tough, but keep going. Really try to get those squats lower. Reach a little higher for me. A little quicker. Jumping jacks, swing those arms up high, but try to keep the movement rhythmic and fluid. Nice rhythmic jumping will make this a whole lot easier. Keep it moving. Make sure you land on the balls of your feet and keep your knees soft. Don't try and breathe to a rhythm here, just breathe normally. You're doing great, that's perfect. Really good. You've got nothing but success coming your way. Perfect. Good job. Keep that rhythm going. Really good. Now you're feeling good and warmed up. Great job. If you keep performing like that, You'll be the biggest loser in no time. Lunge chops to the left. Okay, this is a left lunge motion with wood chop swings added in to give you a great full body exercise. Again, make sure your front knee is safely in line with your heel and not bending out ahead of it. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your toes. We don't want any stress on that joint. Exhale as you chop. Keep your balance by keeping your eyes forward. You don't seem to be lunging very far forward. Try to lunge as far forward as you can without bringing your knee past your toe.
Now, lunge chops on the other side. Don't let your knee go past your toes. This low intensity work is great for keeping your heart rate up while you get ready for harder exercises. You don't seem to be lunging very far forward. Try to lunge as far forward as you can without bringing your knee past your toe. How's this one working your upper body muscles? So you think this is easy, huh? So you can push harder. Show me your best. Come on. Look at me. I'm already out of breath. Roundhouse series. Here you want to step out to your left, then back in, and raise your right leg up and down. So it's out, in, lift, and lower. Nice controlled movements. Don't step out too wide. Try stepping out a little further if you can and try to get down low so it's more of a side lunge than a step. On the step out, try to take a nice wide step and dip down low to work your thighs. Roundhouse series. Step out to your left, then back in and raise your right leg up, then down. It's all about your endurance. Get yourself up, elevated into that steady state. You're burning calories, you're burning fat. That's what it's all about. Try not to go too fast or too slow. Concentrate on controlled movements that match your trainers. Out, in, and lift. Are your thighs cooking yet? A little quicker. Don't get all freaked out. Stay with me. Stay right with me. Getting down into a sitting position now. Let's turn 90 degrees to the side for this one. Okay, now try to balance with your legs outstretched in front of you. This is all about balance, all about core strength. If you lose it, don't worry. Just raise your legs back up and try again. Hold on in there and keep it steady. If you feel any strain or discomfort in your lower back, lower yourself back down. How's it going? We can break for water if you want to take a moment to recharge. Okay, let's move on. Okay, remember to keep hydrated. Exercise makes you sweat and you need to replace that water. Stand up tall. You got a great score on that one. Well done. Okay, back to the front, you guys, facing me. Standing crunch. Feet hip width apart, hands in guard position. Bring your knee up and take the opposite elbow down to meet that knee. Getting a nice twist in your core. Only twist round as far as is comfortable for you. Keep your core strength really strong. Try to bring your elbow down towards your knee a little more. Great work. Try to bring your elbow down towards your knee a little more. A little quicker. You've got nothing but success coming your way.
Try to bring your elbow down towards your knee a little more. That's exactly what I'm after. Turn to the side for this exercise. Tap punches with knee lifts. Okay, here you wanna lift your knee as you step back from your punches to get even more movement and muscle toning into the exercise. Try to get the timing and coordination just right because this is a great all around exercise. Don't throw your punches too loose. That's it, punch and lift. Nice form, you guys, perfect. That's exactly what I'm after. Remember to exhale as you punch. Don't let your arm just throw out there. Think about where you're going. And now let's go side on. Now let's step forward with the right foot first this time. Don't forget to lift that knee up as you step back during these tap punches. You're gonna do the best that you can as long as you're breathing, you're gonna be absolutely perfect. Excellent job. Perfect. Keep your abs in real strong here. Remember to keep your abs pulled in. Don't let your arm just throw out there. Think about where you're going. Don't let your arm just throw out there. Think about where you're going. Okay, back to the front, you guys, facing me. Jump rope with high knees. Keep those knees up high, but make sure you keep your balance. Try to land as softly as you can on the balls of your feet. Great work. Good job, you guys. That's exactly what I'm after. Great job. If you keep performing like that, you'll be the biggest loser in no time. Okay, now on to standing mountain climbers. Here you wanna punch one arm to the sky while raising the opposite knee nice and high. Try to nail that rhythm. Try to land softly on the balls of your feet to avoid stress on your joints. Feeling tired yet? Just try to keep working, even if you have to drop to a lower intensity until it's time for a break. Excellent job. Excellent form. That's absolutely perfect. I couldn't do it better myself. That's it, baby. Ready for some skating? Let's go. Side to side steps with a little hop. Keep your arms swinging to stay in rhythm and work your upper body too. Only hop out as far as feels safe for you. We don't want you slipping with this one. No need to hold or force your breath. Just breathe normally. Good job. Keep that rhythm going. Great work. Excellent form.
really good, you've got nothing but success coming your way. That's it, perfect. You're doing great, that's perfect. Beautiful. Great work. Getting down into a sitting position now. Turn to the side for this exercise. Okay, now raise your left leg out at a 90 degree angle to the floor. Then lift your hips just like in a normal hip lift. That outstretched leg will make your glutes work overtime on this one. If it's too much for you to do right now, don't do it. Drop both legs back down, you guys. Lift down. Lift down. Lift down. Lift down. Excellent form. Excellent job. Great work. Really good. Good job, guys. Let's move to the other side now. All right, now let's raise the right leg to balance out that hip lift exercise for both sides. Okay, good. Those arms ready to drop off yet? Doing pretty good so far, but there's still room for improvement. Push harder, then tell me it's easy. You've got nothing but success coming your way. Are you ready for a new exercise? Okay. Standing up tall. Great job. If you keep performing like that, you'll be the biggest loser in no time. Let's turn 90 degrees to the side for this one. Shoulder and back stretch. Bring your arms straight out in front, one hand over the other. Push forwards and squeeze your chest together to stretch out those shoulder and back muscles. Keep your shoulders down and don't link your fingers. Bring your hands together behind your back and gently pull them backwards and down at the same time. Don't link your fingers together this is a chest stretch. Push backwards and down, dropping your shoulders. Don't link your fingers together. Perfect pose, guys. Okay, now lean backwards with your left leg bent and your right foot pointing upward for a hamstring stretch. With your foot pointed upwards, it should feel comfortable and natural for your hamstring to stretch in this position. I want you to feel the stretch, but don't overdo it. If you're feeling any pain through the back of your legs, just let your foot drop down. Let your toes go down to the floor. You did it. Nice. So from here, lean backwards with your right leg bent and your left foot pointing upward for another hamstring stretch. It's important to stretch both legs equally, just as you should exercise on both sides.
How's it going? We can break for water if you want to take a moment to recharge. Try to keep your extended leg as straight as you can. Okay, now this stretch is in two parts. First of all, you're going to step back on your left and lean forward into a runner stretch lunge, making sure that your back foot is flat to feel a nice stretch across your left calf. Pressing the heel down. Perfect pose, guys. And now step back with your right leg, leaning forward to gently stretch out that calf. Perfect, just like a yoga master. How are you doing? Okay, cool. Now let's bring it back to the front so that you're facing me. I want you to take one arm, reach it across your body, thumb is pointed up, and then just pull that arm towards you as you drop your shoulder down. That shoulder drops down away from your ears. Good job, guys. Let's move to the other side. Now, let's go to the other side. Cross that one arm over. Perfect, just like a yoga master. You should really be feeling the burn in your upper body, yeah? Let's get those triceps stretched. Elbows pointed straight up to the ceiling. Perfect, just like a yoga master. And we're gonna go to the other side. Take that arm over your head. Okay, let's move on. How's it going? We can break for water if you wanna take a moment. Excellent job. You worked really hard and it shows. Good job with the full body exercises. You really nailed them. Great job with the weight.